Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss differences between the weak and strong law of large numbers. Now, the differences between the two laws are some of them are you know somewhat subtle, and some of them are rather significant. So let's discuss briefly what each law uh, means. Now, the weak law of large numbers is actually it's a lot stronger than the name entails. Now, what the lar weak law of large numbers says is if you have a large sample, that there's a very high probability that the sample will be close to the expected value. Okay? Now, what that's related to is what's known as weak convergence. Now, keep in mind though, they do tell you that it's a very high probability that the sample will, will get close to the expected value. So the they're telling you the chances are high, but um, they're telling you it's weak convergence. So there's still a chance that it won't, but it's a very high probability that it will. Now, how does that compare to the strong law of large numbers? Well, the strong law of large numbers is a little more definitive here. And what they're telling you here is that the large sample will almost surely, sounds like just short of a done deal here, but it's almost surely converge to the expected value. So the weak law of large numbers says that there's a very high probability that it will get close to the expected value. The strong law of large numbers says it's almost surely get to it. So it's a, more, a little more definitive than the weak law. And that's related to the concept of strong convergence. So those are some of the subtle differences between the two. Now, a little more significant difference is that the proof of the strong law of large numbers is a lot more complex than the weak law. So this takes a lot more to prove than the weak law of large numbers. So in short, these are some of the differences between the two laws. And so I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's the differences between the weak and strong law of large numbers.